It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. Boom! Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, and oh, uh, Mickey, what is that? Welcome Happy to Halloween, fantastic- motherfucker. <laughs> oh, that is horrible. That is absolutely horrible. Do you want to lick my teeth? No. Go on, lick them. Mate, I, to be honest, I think that's a vast improvement on your teeth. Hey, my teeth are all mine. <laughs> They're all real. Still got them all. <laughs> think so. Happy Halloween, folks. Yes. Ho, ho, ho. No, that's Christmas. That's no, the next. Mickey. Wrong that's one. Next Wrong one. one. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Wrong video, mate. Seth, nobody ever. <laughs> you, you can, to be fair, you could, get, you could get away with saying what you want in this video. We're just wearing that mask if you wear it all the way through. I know, right? Do you think they'd know who it's me? I think they would know it's you, yeah. Because no one would, no one would own a t-shirt and a mask and, feel, and film themselves wearing it but you. Hey, this is a Tesco special. Last, Chris, last Christmas. What is it with me and fucking Christmas? Last you're Halloween. Just too, you're just bought, too excited, mate. I bought seven t-shirts, I think, for about £54 or something. So it, thought, it is your time. It's your time of year, though. So we'll give you that one. It is. It's like my beard coming out the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill you. It doesn't blend very well. Where's the mask from? What is it? Is it, <laughs> is it just a mask? It's not movie related. Uh, it's probably like a purge thing or something. They probably wore this it one does, of the purges, it, sort of. It does. It does look like a bit like a purge mask. I'm not going to lie. Like there, do you remember then in one of the films, the black girls were trying to smash up the local shop? Shop, yeah. Yeah, and they had like. They pissed masks. me off, they did. They yeah, pissed they, me off. They were horrible people. I was kind of glad when they fucking got their comeuppance. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I do love the Purge collection, though. It is a good little watch. It is, yeah. Initially, when it first came out, I didn't see. I think I. So first time I saw one of them was, I think after the second one come out, and I thought, oh, I do not want to see this. What the fuck yeah, is that? What's the that's point kind of, of this? That's that's kind of a good place to start though, because at least if you like the first one, you've got a second one to go into instantly. Straight away, yeah. And You're I not that, like, I yeah. Like and I, I, yeah. They are quite good films. They're quite. They feel quite quick though. Yeah. But yeah, they're they're messed up though. I mean, it could happen. It's a bit... Oh yeah, America. Take... America will fucking trial that. You know they will one day, or or Labour will. You know what they're doing. <laughs> fucking hell. Hey, America's got it bad, aren't they? With, with the uh, the old Hur- weather. Hurricane Milton. Yeah. However, though, apparently we were supposed to have wind speeds of over five hundred miles an hour today. Well, I don't believe that. But hey, oh yeah, yeah. We so the UK was supposed to be hit with uh, wind speeds of over five hundred miles an hour. Um, hurric- hurricanes are supposed to be happening, and I think it was Middlesbrough was supposed to reach temperatures of 500 degrees. Ah, uh, now you just listen to TikTok. <laughs> no, 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 no. So did you not see? Did you not see it? 500 be- degrees, we would yeah, all yes. melt. Yes, we would. Yes, you're absolutely correct. We would. It was a glitch in the BBC weather app. Uh yes, I heard about that. I didn't see it though. I didn't read any any details about it. I seen it on my weather app this morning though, saying severe thunderstorms. Like, and obviously you don't. You well, it was, it was those things. It was sunny. It's uh, raining at six o'clock, and then it stopped, and it's all right. They've had but, some awful weather though in, uh, in the old Florida region. They have three weeks <sighs> ago. Well, good. Mickey, can we just do presents now? Can we do Halloween presents now? Waiting for Halloween presents. No, I mean? just waiting for Halloween presents is just too much. What do you mean suspense. Halloween presents? What's that mean? What's going we on, get, people? We get each other a gift every Halloween. Well, to be honest, we get each other. I get we get more gifts from each other than we get from some family members. We get each other birthday mm-hmm. gifts, Halloween gifts, Christmas gifts. Yeah, it's fucking good. Mine's like. Oh, I'll do it Mine's. I've got no idea what it is. It's quite big then. That's all right. To be fair, BP one, eh? Right, Dave. 
Fucking, I can breathe now. <laughs> God, you. man, you, you've gone from rabbit to steampunk. Where's the <laughs> like? Where's the glasses? You know the big tube. You know the big sat round circle glasses. Oh, I bet he's got steampunk glasses as well, Alan. Oh no, he's not. He's he got asks, the actual. He will get. <laughs> he's got the actual electronic. You got the electronic. Oh, people! It's all happening today. Oh my God! He's dropped the mic. He's dropped the fucking mic, people. The fucking mic is gone. Mickey's everywhere. All because he's going to show us his parent. His parent. Yes, we are still good. Yes, still good. We are still live. Fucking he's going to show us his steam. Steampunk. Huh? What's going on? What's going on? Right here we go. Here we go, people. Just going to oh, close is, your face. The, a oh, are these the electronic ones? How did you do that? I kind of want to just do that. I just want to black out for a bit. Oh, mate, I prefer doing the podcast without showing our faces. We're going silent. Oh! What is Mickey going to show us? Is he going to show us his, uh, his collection? Right. What the fuck is my head? No, oh, here I mean, he goes. Let's let's see if I can turn this off without being able to fucking see. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> you good? You look like a pervert. That's uh, his glasses are steamed up. <laughs> Wait, He's what a... can you see out? What can you see out of those? Nothing. It's just red. Right. So what's that supposed to do? These are Delco goggles for the uh, Estes method while ghost hunting. Layman's terms? So you use the these instead of a blindfold while you have headphones on with spirit box going into it and the other people ask questions, but you can't hear what they're saying. All you do is repeat words that come through if they come through. So it's just a wow. different spin on it. So, hello. That's, that's weird. That is weird. Mate, you love all the weird shit, don't you? Oh, mate. They look like you... It, do you know what? Like, the more this carries on, the more it looks like you've got, like, some weird bondage collection. I don't know what he said. I you said, the more, I said, the more it carries on with the hat, the gla with the goggles, it's like, next, he's, he's got some weird bondage kit going on. Nah, I'm not into that. Not into, not into the old bondage. Bondage, no, no bondage. Not very Halloween esque. But let's 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 do Halloween presents, no, and then no, we'll no. do Halloween no. questions. Wait, have you got your gift? I have. Oh, sweet. Okay. So how do you want to do it? Do you do you want to go first? All right, you go first. All right, I'll go first. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, you're a slow opener. No, but I've got all these fucking wires around me. I know, they're everywhere, and you've got little bones on your head, and <laughs> just this like all oh, weird. Properly. Nothing's. It, all, the, all the planning you go with, and it doesn't fucking turn out right. And people have got to listen to this. <laughs> 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 Spooky bedded! <laughs> <laughs> Frightfully Wait. comfy nights. Yes, mate. Spooky collection. Spe it's reversible. You get. You don't even have to watch it. You can just flip it. <laughs> oh yeah, you get. You get that one. And then you get. And then you get that one. There you go. The white one's quite cool, actually. I like that. Do you have a double? Yeah. Oh, it's good. Reversible. Oh, yeah, duvet set. Nice. Spooky bedding, mate. Thank you, Nile. I was like, I was like what, that, what's going to make his room more Halloween-esque than <laughs> spooky bedding? You're going to put that on You're gonna put that on tonight and just be like, ooh! I'm going to, ooh. Okay, here we go. I'm 
I'm a bit more forceful with my. Oh god, here we go. What the fuck is this? We need to oh. see it now. We need to see you oh. opening it. Open what? <laughs> it's. It's like. It's. Look, it's been. <laughs> I need a. It's been like triple taped up. Oh, fuck. Look, I can't. I can't. Look, look, look how thick it is. You better it's stop. Been like... <laughs> oh, you need to start fucking getting your nails out. <laughs> find an end now. Find an end. It's got gaffer tape in it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> fuck. Come on now, fucking use your muscles. Use your car key to stick in it. Or a, or a blade, whichever you have. Yeah, but I can't fully guide stick something in it because... No, 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 just cut the tape and then peel it. <laughs> Mate, what the fuck is this? It's Halloween, people. It's got a pump! <laughs> <laughs> it better not be what I think it is. I've already got two of these. <laughs> oh, happy, ha happy Halloween! I can't get into the fucking thing. Well, you better start. Why is it taped up so much? Has it been used? I don't know. I hope not. I fucking just bought it. <clears throat> it says Halloween, Halloween prop. Yeah, it's a prop. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake! We've got some movement. Movement, people. Don't well, break it. You can't. That's just one piece of tape off it. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> right. First of all, I've got a roll of duct tape. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Oh, man, I'm not buying you. I get... Why... I get you normal presents. <laughs> right? Normal gifts. Okay, instructions. Oh, dear. <laughs> what to <does it> say? <laughs> <laughs> Go to watch this on YouTube, people. YouTube channel. It's an inflatable corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if I get pulled over with bin bags and gaffer tape, wait, has he got? It's not that kind of doll, though. It's, now it's I've a... heard different reports of that <laughs> in the reviews. <laughs> Some people said it had a face on it. <laughs> oh god! But I don't know. It's got a two-way pump. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. You could blow up your bed and that when you're camping or whatever. It's got a shitload of tape. I want to see the, the, the body. Oh, it's got, oh, it's got a face! <laughs> Has he got a face? Oh, it's got a Chinese face! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Show it. <laughs> Show it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. No, I can't, mate. <laughs> you, you can. It's a fucking... Nothing wrong in that. <laughs> Why's it got whiskers? <laughs> it's got whiskers. It's a oh, Chinese... It's... <laughs> I'm not a doll. Oh, mate, it's got tits. <laughs> no, it hasn't. It has. <laughs> it's got... <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh, mate. Oh. It's got tits. All my dreams it's, have come true. There's wait, wait. <laughs> there's, oh. there's no, there's no holes though. Oh damn. Oh wow. You have it, to need. You have to put her in a bin bag and tape her up. Oh mate. How big is she? Is it like normal size or whatever? Five foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got. No. Uh, it's, <laughs> Blow her Wait. up and put her in the back no! of the seat. No! And drive, drive no! Home. no, no, 
No, I got a head, but headache from laughing. But no, you're a fucking knobhead. I got <laughs> duct tape, a blow up doll, a pump. <laughs> and fuck's a sake! <laughs> and a bin bag. And a bin bag and tape. Wow, wow, people. What can I say? It's it's fucking Halloween. <laughs> that's just how it's we roll. Not, that's not Halloween. That's like. Oh, mate, just wait. Now I know we're playing dirty. Wait till uh, Christmas. I thought that was wait. funny. I thought that was yeah. funny. It's funny. But the car- the gloves are off now. The gl- Fucking Halloween bedding. Thinking, oh, that's a nice nice Halloween gift. Completely fucking... No. Duct tape. Fucking Chinese Anne. Right? <laughs> fucking... No, oh, mate. Oh, dear. This- it's inappropriate on too many levels, mate. Please. We need we need a photo of her in a bin bag with a tape around the hands, the neck, and the legs. That's what we need. I'll send you the. I'll show you the link where it's supposed to look like. Oh yeah, I've seen. I've got. I've got a diagram. I'm gonna have to fucking put this somewhere. Have you got a diagram. Just... Uh, got I'll the instructions. The, I'll show the viewers because you know people that listen on podcast platforms. You need to head. Over to the YouTube channel to see this. Because... Just, just weird. Okay, it's more than. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where you gone? Right. And then you can hang it from a tree. With a with a... no, that's just. That's right, just out outside your house. Someone's gonna peel the face back and go. Oh. <laughs> seen her. <laughs> seen her before. <laughs> Oh yes, mate. That is. Um, that's it. Gloves are off now. Gloves are off. They're fucking off. Wait, and just honestly, I seen something the other day for Christmas, and I thought, is that too far? <laughs> is it too far? And it's not. Now, I'm gonna get the ultra version of what I was thinking. I'm getting. Bring it on, boy. Nothing is is nothing crosses that's the line fine. for me. That is fine. That is fine. No, we are good. We are good to go, people. Rock and roll. The fact that you're, the fact that you're buying me Chinese blow-up dollies. I've got to get that in the house. I've got to get that from the car to the house. No, you can tell your wife that this is what Mickey bought me. It's a Halloween prop. And unfortunately, I'll tell her. she has a face. <laughs> I'll tell her. I feel like she's just got some weird face. And Yeah, but there's no holes, so it's fine. It's nothing... Naughty or anything. Got it. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Thank you. No, do you know what? Not thank you. Thank you. Fuck you. Not thank you. You twat. Oh, that's not funny. That's so Halloween. rude. So fucking rude. Oh, the thing is, I can't go scary on Halloween anymore. You're at the age where you can do what the fuck you want for Halloween. Like, you could hang her from your window. Yeah. Oh my god. I'd do that. Duct tape, duct tape, and a bin bag, and a blow up fucking dolly. Yeah. I've got, <laughs> a, I've got a massive fucking pumpkin and clown there. Oh. oh hey, hey, hey. Gloves are off, mate. Gloves are off. That's all I was going to say. No holds bar. Oh god. You see them? Yeah. Do you know that parcel? That parcel's been sat in my hallway for like three days now. Two days. Yeah, two days. Of all, and it's been sat there. Just been sat there. Fucking anybody could have opened that parcel. You could have used that already. Damn, he says it's been there a while. Bastard. <laughs> just should wait. Just honestly, just just cannot wait. I'm going to make sure that you need a lot of room for this set item. And it's going to be something that you're going to be like, what am I supposed to do with this? Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh, God. It's, it's a T, giant T-Rex with a Santa hat on. Love oh. it. Bring it on. Put it in the garden. No. <laughs> no, trust me. We're, we're going. In fact, we'll do, a, we'll do a rule that Christmas presents have to be from Temu only. That's fine. All yours are from Timu last year, so. Timu, Temu, we'll do it. We'll do a T. I'll 
we'll do a Timu haul each. And because yeah. you can buy a lot for like, I've realized you can buy a lot for like 30 quid on there, <laughs> 30, 40 quid. You can buy shitloads. Last year, I was, I couldn't stop opening the ones that you got me. There was just no, fucking all sorts. You had about 12 things in yours. <laughs> but they've all, do you know what? All of them have become useful in their own little way. Mm. Especially the shitting dog Christmas tree decoration. <laughs> shitting dog. Yeah. No, and my, um, <clears throat> the, uh, John McClain one that's on my desk. Oh yeah, that was that was an extra. Yeah, that didn't come in time for when we met. No. So. Um. But yes, Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Are you doing anything? What are you doing? I am off on a ghost hunt, I believe, with my mother. What? It was her idea. Yes. So still wait. Still, been... wait, still waiting to confirm. But, Has she been before? Yeah. Yeah, we used to go back in 2008. So, yeah, we're good. Yeah. Well, 2008. Out, yeah. yeah. The great the great financial recession of the world. <laughs> it was 2008, wasn't it? it was like, I was like, when all the bad shit happened. It was yeah. a shit year. Mm. And you started ghost hunting, looking for souls. Looking for souls of people, yes. Lost souls. Yeah. So that's when. Be, where did you... Where did you realise that you were into like ghost hunting? When I watched Most Haunted. That was it for you, right? <laughs> yeah. Most Haunted, you got hard on and was like, I'm going looking for ghost. That's cool, yeah. Yeah, I thought that at the time. I don't anymore. I, but... I loved... Friday nights used to be Most Haunted night, wasn't it? I think Thursdays. So Thursday on Living, wasn't it? Living TV. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Oh. I remember watching it, Derek and Sam, and all the yeah. all the gang. The lives, the lives were good. I still like enjoy the lives. So like Halloween lives, they have like three, three days of them, wouldn't they? Three hours yeah. at a time. Yeah, they were quite good. There wasn't anything else kind of like that at the time, like that was no. doing stuff like that. So it was it was a, they definitely jumped on on a niche market where it was like, oh, this is different. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean there was probably stuff in America. I'm, I'm sure Taps was probably out at the same time. But at the time, we didn't we didn't have accessibility to American TV shows. They weren't on our platforms on our TV, and we didn't really have social media in 2008. You know, mm. YouTube had just started, and I don't MySpace. Know if, yeah, I think it was MySpace. I, Facebook may have been a, on no. The, it was it was it was literally MySpace, and then about three four three years later was Bebo. Yeah, I never joined that. That was what but... I had it as I was a kid when that was out, so I had that. But MySpace was like shit, so shit. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't really have I had an account, but I didn't really do anything with it. To be fair, yeah, but that back then you used to just meet people, ring people, or text people. Yeah, there was none of this. Oh, I don't speak to humans. I text from my yeah. basement anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there wasn't. There wasn't even like that back then. You know, no. two thousand eight was a whole different time. Not that long ago, but an entire different time in the world. Yeah. Because yeah, many different worlds ago. That is. It is, isn't it? That is a yeah. long old time ago. Mm. Two thousand fucking eight, man. So you go and ghost hunting with your mum. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Should be good. I'd like to see I know I don't know the team that's doing it, but I've heard of them, but I'm not sure. I've asked a few people. Um hmm. they don't know them personally. So it will be interesting to see how this team does, this local team, and see if they recognise me. So that'll be quite funny so I'm not do you do you, no f- do you feel in like that in your own little world do you feel like a bit like hmm. is anyone has anyone ever pointed you out and gone oh you're um you're sticky yeah. mickey, sticky mickey <laughs> i'm always clean no stickers involved yeah sometimes i've been in the range a few times and people come up to me and say hello and i'm like 
don't know who you are sort of thing in my own head obviously I'm not that rude and then mm. it's like oh Mickey you alright and I'm like okay you know me as Mickey not Michael so that's I know where I know you from <laughs> but, yeah the, but that's nice though that, that's it's kind nice. of, oh, like yes. of a, yeah it's nice that's kind of a bit like you know you know my shit so mm. is it I assume it's a local event at a local place oh yeah it's at the World's End pub World's End pub oh yeah just past that, uh, yeah, yeah, on the way to um, Wilby, the old manor, like, Ecton Brook. Yeah, yeah, next to yeah. Overster Manor. Yeah, we used to go past yeah. it at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the one that the one that I sped down that time and went went past the van. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, should be good. Nice. Looking Is, do you to... know? Do you know anything about that location? Uh, I know it used to be Cromwell's Morgue for the Battle of Naseby. Um So, yeah, it was a headquarters for something as well. Also, there's a lady that's seen at midnight. She stands in the middle of the road and she forces you to crash because she's lonely and she wants a mate. So, but I've never seen her. The first few years when I started ghost hunting, I'd drive up there at midnight trying to see this spirit, this woman in a white dress. Never seen her. Never. No. Do you know? I told. I've said this before, time and time again. That is my. That's like my nemesis of the dream I've always had. I told you about it. That somebody like a like an oldish woman in a white dress. That creeps the fuck out of me. <laughs> a little girl at the top of the stairs in a white dress with black hair. <sighs> Ring a ring a roses. No, no, <laughs> that that and Catholic priests. <laughs> yeah, no, I was used to Catholic priests growing up where he did. Oh <laughs> mate, this. So, I, I, I mean, I, 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 this sounds bad, but I find I actually find priests quite creepy for obvious reasons. I'm sure a lot of people do, but yeah, I think so. I'm sure yeah, there's right. some lovely priests, but there's also some not lovely priests around. They're scary, like Halloween is scary. So if you want to be good costume to wear when you're out trick or treating, dress up as a priest. <laughs> Don't do that. That's not a good look for anybody. Don't do that. You could be the priest, are you, um... the exorcist, you know, oh, the yeah. Bible and cross, and that you could carry around with you. The the power of Christ compels you. Tells you. Yeah, with some vomit, <laughs> green vomit on you. Oh God. Cool. Do, you, I, I, do you know what I love about <clears throat> we're talking about obviously things were different back then but I find that horror movies now are far more scary than they've ever been yeah um, there's a there's a film that Mark and Rich went to see the other day The Terrifier 3 or something it's oh yeah, big, yeah, yeah big fuck never heard of it they went the Terrifier yeah yeah big f- Big fuck off, like scary oh. creature with big teeth, big white thing, and I'd never heard of it before. I never even know there was a, a part one and a part two. To be fair, so you know that's uh, by the by. But yeah, that looked pretty freaky. And apparently, there's an awful lot of gore in it. So yeah, there is. Yeah. My brother's told me about that. It's it's kind of like low budget movies. There's yeah. a whole. There's a channel dedicated to them. This channel's called Shudder. Yeah, you spoke about that with your brother the yeah, other yeah. week. Yeah, yeah. That they, they know it from there. They know it. Oh, and I was okay. like, just weird, like, weird horror movies. Do you remember, like, do you remember the horror movie, like, VHS? And there was, like, volume one, volume two. No, VHS. Do you remember? A okay. video player. Yeah, but there was, like, there was basically, like, what VHS okay. was, was was a bunch of mini horror movies in one tape. And it was just oh, like right. mi- short movies. Do you remember remember Tales from the Crypt? Yeah, with the Crypt Keeper, the little man. Goes, Whoa. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it yeah. would just branch off into little movies. Yeah. VHS is similar to that, but the movies were like real camcorder-like footage, like where... Uh, like Blair Witch. Have... Yeah, similar, but there were like a lot of VHS ones. They're all on that shit, I think. But I remember watching one of them. And they're just weird, like quite scary. Is he coughing? Is he coughing? I love how nice. I might as well just cough on fucking camera, innit? No, I just does it. 
Yeah, I try and be professional and mute the it's microphone right. so that I can cough and sniff and make funny, strange noises. And then Niall goes, he's doing that. <laughs> you fucker. He's doing it now. Sorry, Niall <laughs> sat here with a fucking blow up doll in his passenger seat. <laughs> And I was thinking, oh, mate, maybe I should just put it. Maybe I should just. Hello, police. <laughs> maybe, maybe you know, I? I should just. I should just, you know, get rid of it. You can't. You can't. There's no way you can publicly dis- dispose <laughs> of a blow-up doll, a bin bag, and gaffer tape. Please blow it up. Take a photo of you next standing next to it. Just, I need to oh. see this photo. Oh <laughs> with, God! With gaffer tape in your hand. And the bin bag, and take a photo, and we can put it up on our Instagram. As, look what no. Mickey got me. Why? What's wrong with that? I'd do that. Fine, I'll do it. Just fine. Fuck off. I'll do it's, it. It's not a problem. It's not. It's not a problem. But it is up to me. It's, it's up to you. It's up to me. You can tape her face up before I care, mate. Just put some gaffer tape on her face. You ain't got no. Don't you shout? Blow up doll, mate. You can't do just weird. Weird <laughs> people do weird shit to blow up dolls. That's <laughs> weird people. Yeah, but if you've got the the prop with you, it's fine, Niall. Oh God, fucking hell! Yeah, so I've here. got yeah. I've got a list of horror movies that I need to get through this year. <laughs> yes, you do for Halloween. Obviously, Halloween's different for us now. Well, different for me because I'm you know I'm a fucking parent at home hey daddy hey what are you saying i'm a parent well, in my mum and dad's home <laughs> yeah but you you now are you're like a you're like a, a free man i'm a distinguished gentleman you're you're i'll don't worry i'll be your age once when my kids have grown up and flown the nest and you know plural 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 i'll be a busy man exactly <laughs> Halloween around that time, I'm sure I'm going to be very, very busy. You are. Probably you are. Do- Halloween is this week, though, now, so it's fine. You are fucking yeah. busy. I'm busy. Do- I am Do- Dr. busy. Dr. Fights is on the way. Dr. Fights is on the way. We're going to try. No, I'm go- I want to make an appearance at that. Obviously, we haven't got long depend- left. <laughs> weather, de- weather dependent on s- yeah. set set arrivals. Stork, stork, stork arrivals. <laughs> stork um, incoming. <laughs> so yeah, it, it'll just be. I mean, Halloween different for everybody now. It's different. It from when I was so a kid. what? What Halloween films are you looking to watch this week then, Niall? Before oh. the big day, you said you got some catching up to do. What are you? What are you catching up with? What are you watching? There is the new Salem's Lot. Hmm. Yeah, so that's cinema, isn't it? That looks good. Yeah, or Plex if you're a, uh, you know, you got a Plex account. Um, okay. And then there's is there's a couple on Netflix that have come out that look quite good. I don't know. Yeah. They, they're just they're just getting. Um... Have you ever watched Who Be Halloween? The Adam no, Sandler with... film. And it's... no, have you? Have we watched? Yeah, that? I watched it the other year. It's fucking funny. It's got all the. Adam Sandler friends that he has in all the of Adam, films. The Adam Sandler entourage. Yeah, he's always done that though. He always looks out for his friends to keep him in work and that. I think that's lovely. But yeah, it's fucking brilliant. Oh look, Niall is muted himself because he's having a wank and he doesn't want the noise to get in the way. <laughs> fucking I can't even see him. Because it got dark that quick. Yeah. Pitch black now. So no, it's pitch black. He's in a car with a blow up doll. <laughs> it gets worse minute by minute. Oh god! Oh, and this it's is got... fucking brilliant. No, who be, who be Halloween? I have not yes. watched it. I'll please, give it a go. please go watch it. It's only like an hour and twenty minutes. It's new. It's it's a fucking brilliant film. Brilliant film. It's very easy off the cuff to watch. You don't have to really get into it or learn about the plot or anything. It's sort of very much straight into it. I'll watch it. it tonight. I'll watch it. I'll be my it, tonight's watch. It's, there's no swearing as far as I remember. It's all light-hearted. You know, local town Halloween film. So I still haven't watched the new Hocus Pocus though. I've not seen that, no. That's on um, the old Disney Plus. 
and they're just to me they're just as good like as a kid hocus pocus was like the it halloween film yeah sarah jessica parker in her little witch's outfit yeah yeah back then she was just a filthy animal weren't she apparently she so. was she was my uh she was definitely the one i was like oh yeah the one that i won you've heard the one i won <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh she was yeah she was and buffy buffy like buffy the vampire little... say i used to have posters of her on my wall i used to be like yeah back in my back in my like 13 12 year old self she'd get it <laughs> don't know what she'd get from it <laughs> like she'd get it oh mate <laughs> she i used to nothing. think i used to think when i was a kid like oh, that's it that's the caliber that's where we're at noel that's what we're aiming for Aim high, bruv. <laughs> Fuck um, me. Halloween, Halloween when I was a kid, so it's all changed, man. The, yeah? I don't know. Oh. What, was, what was your average Halloween like? Average kid? Halloween was like home from school. Like a couple of mates had come back from school with me that, that lived in other villages and they'd basically come to mine or whatever. Mm. Would meet at another friend's house. It'd be like sort of between sort of five and ten mates we'd all have either like just a mask so it'd be like a screen mask or my mine was always a classic screen mask that was my thing right yeah. like, a screen mask hoodie you know what i mean that was it just go around either doing two things one get a load of food from like you know trick-or-treating yeah then it would be like see how much money we got then maybe go and get some like actual food there used to be a pizza van in our village or a chinese van if it was on a thursday or a friday and then then you just start terrorizing you'd be like right who's got eggs who's got flour (laughs) it wasn't even who pissed you off it was kind of just like but then we'd just do weird shit though we'd go in and like you know put a plant pot on the roof of a car or something like that just just stupid boisterous twat shit (laughs) Like you're a dickhead shit. Yeah. Oh, I remember oh. what I remember we uh, I remember one year we put a load of custard all over all like, all over someone's gate handles and all that. And I was thinking back the way I think about it now, I was thinking that must have fucking stunk. Especially if it was warm because it had set. Yeah. As well. Didn't you put flour on someone's car once? At work. Yes. That wasn't yes. Halloween though, was it? That wasn't Halloween though. That was just uh, a... Like like a fuck off bitch. Dick move, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah, we put flour and ketchup all mm. over all over someone's car. Yeah. yeah. Just boy shit. Stupid, stupid twat boy shit. Yeah. Don't do it, people. Don't do it. Don't that do was it. it for me. It's not like, fun, it's not special, it's not big. I'd go home. Go home, like watch a few horror movies and whatever, and that was it. But I did that for years as a kid, and then you grow up, and then it was like Halloween. Like I worked, obviously, I worked in a lot of bars, so Halloween was fun when you worked in bars because it would just be like people coming in all dressed up, but then just people were just getting pissed. I bet it was fun but, though. Did you used to dress up the pub and you have to come yeah, in yeah, costume yeah. to work and that? Yeah, you used to have to come in costume and stuff. I think we've got some photos somewhere. Um, oh, we need to see them. Instagram. Back, w- back when Niall was, uh, you know, slim, let's say slim pickings. Back in my youth. Yeah. Now I'm an old fuck with a grey beard and a fucking, I'm going to be just stuck at home. And a blow up doll. And a blow up doll to keep me company. And his hoover. Blow up doll named May. May, if you already named her. May. May, May. Oh, oh God. God. May I have the pleasure. <laughs> oh, God. May I have this dance. <laughs> Dirty boy. Dirty bastard. <laughs> what about you? What were you doing before my, ghost hunting as a kid? My normal Halloween was coming home from school, shutting the doors, and not opening them. The odd occasion I'd go out and egg people's houses I didn't like. Again, not very clever, very immature, and I don't recommend doing it. Um, so yeah, 
And then... However, toilet roll, use toilet roll, kids. So much fun. Grab on one end of it, on grab one end of it, throw the other one over the tree, then go and pick it up, throw it back over the tree, then over again. It's a nightmare to get off, but it looks good. He thinks it's a Andrex puppy. <laughs> Especially, I mean, if you get them off TikTok shop, you'll get about a million of them for about 20 quid. Mm. But yeah, anyway, back to my story. It's, uh, I didn't, I didn't believe in trick or treating. I never went trick or treating. Even when my kids were young, I was refused to take them because I thought you're just begging for sweets off scared grandmas, and that's horrible. But then I think I definitely remember going on 2015 on Halloween night, just before I was on TV. I took the kids trick or treating, and Every year for about four or five years after that, maybe more, six years, every every Halloween, I'd dress up. One, one year I'd be dressed head to toe in Pennywise costume or my nun costume or, you know, that pure white mask, a bit like, uh, not Leatherface, what's his name? Michael Myers, a bit like him. Michael Myers. But- yeah, but there was no like hockey mask. It was just like a white mask. It looked fucking horrible. I used to go out hockey wearing mask. that. Hockey mask is Jason. Just sorry, oh, correct it. J- Thank you, Jason. Fucking yeah. don't confuse him. Oh no, fucking hell. Um, Fuck me. That's like horror one hundred and one breaking the rules right there, motherfucker. They just all they all look the same, don't they? You know. But yeah, it's. Uh, I enjoyed it, to be fair, and I did quite have like it because I used to see the kids dressing up and we'd spend ages after school getting them all dressed up, buying costumes, face painting, and we'd go out for a couple of hours and I'd take like six, seven kids out with me that I'd found on the street, you know, uh, as we were going around. They'd come and join us. And then some some people were like, some of the mums and that with the other one were taking photos of me as Pennywise. Uh, and it was fucking funny. And I used to, when I was dressed as a nun, I used to hide behind trees and just like stand there at the end of like pathways, <laughs> fucking scare people to shit. It was fucking. Do you re- do you remember when that actually happened? We had a clown. Yeah, Northampton it, clown. Yeah. The Northampton clown, where they were basically going stand in places, and it got that like it got that big that people were like, it was. I mean, it got to America in the news and Australia went worldwide. Yeah. Go and do it. Do it. Why do it? Do it. Yeah, get, I, know the get... la- I, I know the lad that did uh, dressed up as the clown. His name was Alex. Alex was Powell it was was it true North... that he he was just on his way to a party? Uh, initially, I think so, and he thought it'd be funny just to stand there. I mean, I remember we went to Abington Park. You know, the little lake where they had the little boats. Yeah, it just used to. St- he, he was seen just stood in that not moving yes. with, a, with a balloon in his hand and it's like fuck me it's so such a genius idea absolutely brilliant and you know i think he's still got the the costume but yeah you should do it you should you should so i, I fucking get i get it. fucking stabbed these days you know that's the that's the that's the problem this day and age <laughs> is that do you know what i mean being it being scary in a costume yeah, to be honest, that you're the victim if you're doing that because yeah, you'd you'd be fucking lynched by these kids. Yeah, little these kids will be like, not, a knife." <laughs> they, these kids will be like, "We're not scared of you in your costume." I've got Air Max. I've got Air Max and a Stanley knife. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that'd be fucking scary, man. No, I wouldn't do it. If I knew I wouldn't get battered, then that'd be quite funny. But... <laughs> have you seen the videos though where it flips back on the people that actually do try and scare people and it ends up like flipping back on them and it's mm. like it's yeah. true yeah don't push your limits because <laughs> oh, you, you never know what's coming we used to try and do prank calls as well like my friend had one of do you know the things that change your voice like off screen uh, yeah, yeah. he had one that was like a circle thing and you basically just speaking to it and it'd be like either like a robotic voice or it wasn't like as scary as screams one screams one were quite scary yeah but we used to do like calls to like pizza restaurants and stuff <laughs> just be like start asking them questions prank calling was back that was a big halloween thing as well we used to do yeah prank obviously 
I am I am known to I've done a few prank calls in my time. You have. I have done a few prank calls. Not I'm not I'm not one hundred percent proud of it, but I've done a few. Yeah, it was quite good at them, especially Australian in the sunbed. Oh, <laughs> I could do I could do them all. Do them all, mate. Yeah, how fucking funny, mate. This this we started this and it was daylight. Now look, you can barely see me. I can see a finger. Lucky doll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Fuck you know. so what's the best and worst thing about halloween then what do you say little shits like me that would have done just twat shit that's the worst thing and again i think i'm in agreement with you in terms of the trick-or-treating like i think i do kind of see it as a bit of bit of begging because when we was kids you knew who was participating who wasn't yeah like if you've got a pumpkin out or something like you're doing it some people some people you just used to leave like a bowl on the doorstep and go like once it's gone i'm not refilling it sort of thing whereas i know some people that just put an empty bowl out and go like oh someone's nabbed it all i made the effort (laughs) yeah oh like and i've got the classic halloween bowl I want to put like some like, I want to put like a load of sweets in it and then just put like a load of jelly in the bottom. Yeah. But we've got so many decorations We are at home like, and obviously most years we, we have a Halloween, we have like a Halloween party. We're going yeah, to a Halloween that. party. We've, we've thrown big Halloween parties, but then some years we've gone extra and put like crazy decorations out. I've showed you before some of the decorations we've done and, we had the we had the little girl on the swing that we attached to the tree. That was quite creepy. Mm. We've got our, we've got our little butler. We, he's called Winston. Have you seen him? Is he about nine foot tall? I had him. I had a Grim Reaper version of that. It's Winston. He, he's in and he had a tray it, like, like this. Yeah, so he's holding it like yeah. this. He got he's yeah. got like a hunchback. We can't see you. And he's and he's like, you'll not eat. No, I'm just quoting your film here. You, I'm not going to see you won't be alone tonight. That's your creepy film. You won't be alone tonight. Oh no, you won't be alone. <laughs> That's the tell you what. There you go. That is the creepiest fucking thing. That weirdo. That fucking weirdo. I bet he's dead now. Nah, he lives in Rushton or somewhere. What? <laughs> yeah, he's very local. Very local. Weird <laughs> too, old fuck. T- too local, yeah. <laughs> too local. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I, fuck me. Like we, we some yeah, we've got loads of creepy decorations. Like, like we've got an inflatable clown that like shoots up with his arms, like from a Jack in the Box thing. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, I don't know. Just you know, some see, it depends. See, I never used to be big on Halloween, but then obviously my kids were growing older, like like thirteen onwards. We used to. That's when we started going trick or treating, and. We would decorate the house. We'd have like the big scary banners on the wall, a bit like Walking Dead, things like that. We'd have all the ghosts and like um, skeletons, like the robber ones hanging from the ceiling. We'd have all big signs saying Happy Halloween and you you won't return and you're going to die and all this shit all over our house. And we had the big Grim Reaper with his holding his little tray, his silver tray he used to put stuff on. Scythe, no, he's tray. No. Yeah, he had, the, he had a tray instead. And oh. uh, yeah, we used to make loads of food. We used to make like, uh, what's the equivalent of a gingerbread man for Halloween? Gingerbread Whatever that. spider. Yeah, things like that. And uh, we had this big like tumbler thing with a little nozzle that you get drink out of. And oh. you'd make, uh, we'd use food coloring, we'd add it to like lemon squash and that. And they'd turn it like red and pink and green and all that sort of stuff. And we'd have all like the little special, the the napkins and the plates and the bowls. And we'd we'd all dress up and obviously go trick or treat and then come back and have lots of food. We'd do apple bobbin, and yeah, it, it was it was pretty good. Did that for about five years. Uh, they these are all available in the old Mickey vlogs on my YouTube channel. 
all the Halloween specials and that on there. That's all the all the trick or treat oh. is all in there. But, yeah, <laughs> you want to watch them all, people? Yeah, Mickey York, go find it. Mickey Vlog. I like. I, I do like Halloween. I feel like. It's definitely, it's definitely come back in towards a, because it, it stopped. For, I believe it kind of stopped for a long time. The people were just not bothered about it, you know. No, like, I think I think the more horror films that come out of the cinema, oh. the the higher importance it, it gets. I think it just keeps going and going. I think I think cinemas should really cash in on Halloween and be like, listen, let's get every single screen showing all a fucking bunch of like horror movies let's get everybody coming in like you know you come if you come and see this movie you've got to dress up and like they should just put on events yeah they should do like they should make like cinema cinemas should do like a red carpet event for people just come in dressed up like the you know like the best dressed people yeah they get they a should... discount price or pound off their ticket or something or a free, yeah. free bag of sweets or whatever. Like, and they should make it, you know, they should make it like fun. Like, you know, they should have somebody like reenacting the scream thing and all that sort of stuff. And because yeah. that, yeah, like when that, when I seen the scream movie, they all got free costumes, didn't they? Yeah. Like, can you imagine a cinema giving you a free costume? They've been fucking unheard of. They don't even give you free posters anymore. Like they used nope. to. I don't know. It's it's definitely making a comeback, and people are more into it again. Like Bonfire Night, like I, I mean, I don't know. It's different for me now because obviously I liked Bonfire Night, mm. but I don't like twats for fireworks. I love fireworks, but don't like little twats walking around the streets with them. Yeah, unfortunately, that is a, a real problem, especially nowadays, the way kids are. And yeah. some adults as well are fucking a bit special, aren't they? It just takes one knobhead mm. to, to ruin it. So has Halloween changed for you since becoming a dad? Yeah, of course it has. Like, it's it's just got... It, it started off quite mellow because obviously, you know, they're young. Yeah, and yeah. then obviously, you know, like, they're into it and they want to go out and they want to, like, explore the streets and they want to you know, go to Halloween parties and scary stuff. Obviously, I've still not watched any even kiddie horror movies like Hocus Pocus or anything. Like, I, no. I don't, I don't want to push any of that stuff yet. I don't want to push it because obviously, I believe I, I remember I was forced when maybe about the age of nine, I was mm. forced to watch Night, Nightmare on Elm Street, and oh, it, Freddy. it petrified me. Absolutely petrified me. Hmm. I think so. My first horror movie was Nightmare on Elm Street, and then I think I watched Hellraiser, The Crow, um, Children of the Corn, Ooh. like some proper old school classic horror movies. But Nightmare on Elm Street for me, like it was just fucking terrifying. Yeah. But even now. I'm, I'll admit, I am. I'm, I'm all up for watching horror movies with a bunch of people, but I am not. Horror movies are not my bag on my own. Pussy. Like Pussy. I don't care. I, mate, it, I'm like, I, listen, I'm not. I'm not putting myself through that. They're not real, now. They're not real. Yeah, but, yeah, but you, you tell, you tell a nine-year-old's mind that you know, Nightmare on Elm Street. You know, every time I went for a bath after that, I was worried. <laughs> Every time I went for a bath after that, I was like, fuck's sake, what if something just comes up now and grabs me? Between the legs. <laughs> Big oh, fucking mate. scissor hands. <laughs> Good old Freddy. Yeah. Do you know what? Obviously, I reckon, following on from that question, I think you are more active now, you're a parent, than you would have been before. Because mm. if your mates ain't available, you're probably not well, doing, doing much. Yeah. And now you're a kid your kid when now that you have a child as she grows older you're going to be doing more you'll be going to parties you'll be having parties at your house you'll be dressing up making it all spooky for her watching the the kiddie films the horror films um going trick-or-treat with her maybe you know so you're going to be a lot more active 
going pumping oh, yeah, yeah. in with her you know i've only ever done yes, that yeah. once and that was i like all that that was, pretty, that was through work so yeah yeah i like all that we'd like we do we go to pumpkin patch we go to yeah yeah yeah. we go to a halloween event at a farm oh it's all fun stuff right and i think it's the more and more you busier. make but then i think it helps these kind of small businesses that do that kind of stuff it helps them out that they do events like that because you know it works yeah I think so. Do you know what the best thing for me about Halloween nowadays, now that I don't go chicken and treat with my kids and that, it is the uh, the YouTube specials from all the like the ghost hunting teams and groups that I follow yeah, yeah. on YouTube. Because you know there's going to be about 15 fucking videos out. You've got your own one coming out on Halloween. I have Kramer Island. Go check it out, people. Me and Mark return. Oh, Ooh, I lost. Just me. That's it. Just me. Again. Yeah. Oh, I'm back me. again. Yeah, you're back again. Me and Mark spent the night again on Kramer Island. As you guys have known, because we spoke about it a few weeks ago, it was such a creepy fucking night and did not go as planned. And you will see that this coming week. So make sure you stay tuned. Ooh. So, yeah. Oh. It's big. So, yeah, that's that's what I look forward to. All the YouTube yeah, specials. I, I, I ended know. up watching all of them. That's In fact, that's pretty much me for Halloween night is I go through a lot of YouTube lives, YouTube specials. Exactly, yeah. Good old social like, media. I fucking love it. You know, this, back in the day, this... you'd, only, you'd only have what's on TV, and if there was not much going on, you wouldn't see anything. So... You know, that's what oh. I love about YouTube. You are your own filmmaker. Hello? Niall's been taken, oh. but his doll. I'm back. Niall's, Niall's in the back of his car. I don't know what happened then. <laughs> Sorry, it's funny. Dickhead, you're sure fucking. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Can't fucking see ya. Yeah, it's funny. I want a photo. You'll get yeah. a photo. Maybe I'll maybe I'll bring May with me for the next filming. Yeah, mate. Yeah, she can sit there next to you in your kitchen <laughs> with a coffee. <laughs> oh God. And on that oh. note, people, thanks for joining us on another Halloween special of Dad's Lads and Kebabs, <laughs> Deuces, oh, and fuck off. Fuck off. off. <laughs> Bye from the Invisible Nile.